morning children today we are going to learn something about hiv and aids awareness now sense we can help to stop the spread of hiv i'd love to live in a world where hiv was history hello and welcome to it's a fact I'm Mala and I'm Nicholas and this is our dog Eddie. In this episode we are going to talk about HIV AIDS and the effect it can have on people living with the virus. There is no cure for HIV but there is medication to help an infected person. There are other ways though that HIV can make someone's life more difficult. Do you mean the sadness that stigma and discrimination can bring to a person with HIV and their family? That's right. I don't think people realize how hurtful they can be. In this next section, our two guests share with us their experience of living with the stigma of HIV. We're not going to tell you our names, and we're not going to show our face, but we're going to tell you about HIV. We are brother and sister. I am HIV negative. And I am HIV positive. I was born with the virus, and so I have to take my medicines every day. The doctor tells me that if I take my medication, I can live a long and happy life. I don't think the doctor is right about living a happy life, because I see my sister crying almost every day. She doesn't cry because she feels sick, but because people are mean to her. Mummy tells me that children are cruel because they don't know better. She says you can't get the virus by sharing a joke, hugging someone or by being friendly. It makes me angry when I see how my sister is treated. She's really good at sports and when we play at home she wins many times. But on the field when the captains are choosing their teams, my sister is always left last even though she can play better than most of the others. I guess I'm getting used to it a little. I've stopped trying to make friends with anyone. I spend all my break times with my brother or in class pretending to finish my school work. This is my last year at our school and I am really worried about leaving my sister behind. I think she will be very lonely. I saw her making a poster that said friends wanted. But that's not the way to make friends. Stigma and discrimination are so unnecessary. Absolutely. You know, I think that some people wrongly believe that it's easy to get HIV, almost like catching the flu. But that's nonsense. The HIV virus cannot travel in the air. It can only be passed through three body fluids: blood, breast milk, and sexual fluids. That's why it's so important for us all to know the facts about HIV. You cannot tell if someone has HIV by looking at them. In fact, many people who have the HIV virus do not know that they are infected because they do not show any symptoms for many years. This is why it is important that people are tested for HIV. There is no cure, but there are medicines which will help an HIV positive person live longer. You cannot get HIV from the air or from food or water or from any animals. HIV can only be passed from one person to another through three body fluids. These are blood, breast milk and sexual fluids. The HIV virus can travel through wounds. This is why it is important to cover all cuts with a clean bandage or plaster. HIV can also be passed through sexual fluids because many people who have HIV do not know they are infected. It is important for a person to protect themselves by always using a condom if they are sexually active. HIV can also be passed from mother to child when pregnant, at childbirth, or through mother's milk. The HIV virus cannot travel through other body fluids such as saliva, mucus, sweat, tears, or body waste. Your immune system works to keep you healthy. The CD4 T cell is like a commander cell which tells soldier cells to destroy foreign invaders. 
but when HIV enters, it destroys the commander cells. When this happens, the soldier cells no longer know what to do and the HIV virus multiplies. When HIV causes a collapse of the immune system, a person has AIDS. Can you get HIV from sharing a toilet? No, HIV is not passed through body wastes. How about from shaking hands or hugging? No, HIV does not pass through the skin or in sweat. Can you get HIV from sharing needles or razor blades or from cuts? Yes, HIV can be transmitted by the blood of an infected person. Can you get HIV from kissing or sharing drinks or if someone coughs or sneezes on you? No, HIV cannot pass through mucus or saliva. Can a mother give her baby HIV? Yes, if the mother is infected with HIV, the virus can be passed to the baby during pregnancy, at childbirth, or in the mother's breast milk. Can pets or farm animals give a person HIV? No, you cannot get HIV from animals or insects. What about mosquitoes? They suck human blood. No, mosquitoes only suck blood. They do not inject it. Are there other ways that a person can get HIV? Yes, the HIV virus can be transmitted through the sexual fluids of a man or woman. When the HIV virus has destroyed too many of the T-cells in an individual, that person is said to have AIDS or acquired immune deficiency syndrome. The symptoms of AIDS can include extreme tiredness, rapid weight loss, diarrhea, high fever, and swollen glands. In fact, early symptoms of AIDS are similar to the flu. As the T-cell count continues to drop, AIDS patients become at risk of infections. You too can live a long and happy life. I've been HIV positive for most of my life, and now I'm hitting on a ripe old age. If you're feeling depressed, talk to someone. Anxiety and stress really don't help. Find something you love to do. I took up cycling. Eat well, take your meds, exercise, sleep loads, and love life. People who are HIV positive and on medication must remember to take their medicines correctly. They should also try to eat a balanced diet, exercise often and get plenty of rest. Living a healthy lifestyle will help. It is also very important to have good friends who will support you if you or someone you love has HIV. HIV is not a punishment. It is a virus which affects so many people all over the world. Could you be a good friend, someone who understands me? When I'm feeling low, will you try to have empathy? Will you listen when I talk and not interrupt, please? Don't dismiss how I'm feeling or rush to advise me. I'll need a true friend, one who's patient and kind, someone supportive who'll be there every time. I won't always be happy or be able to play my mood will be changing. I'll feel different each day. My home life affects me. I can't help that it does. I'll need a good friend who I know I can trust. My dad lost his job when he got HIV. It's badly impacted on our whole family. There's the stigma to cope with. We've lost friends from before and our income's affected. We've become very poor. Now the doctors have told Dad it's progressed into AIDS. They say that his life has limited days. I've never faced death. I don't know what it's like. I'll miss my dad dearly and cry every night. I'll need a good friend more than ever, you see. I know you'll understand me and will show empathy. HIV can affect anyone of any age, of any race, of any gender, of any religion, of any profession. There's no cure for HIV. Everyone should know the facts so that we can all help to stop the spread of HIV. Hey, 